What's up guys, it's Brian. I'm back here again for Life of Briller episode 3 and today I'm going to be speaking at a normal pace so it's not like I'm speaking slower than I would normally or like I'm trying to be super like oh my god I am so clear. I'm just really talking normally. I'm not purposely going to mispronounce my words so I'm just going to talk to you guys as if I was talking to like any other na native English speaker or, or whoever so I hope you understand and if you don't understand, don't worry about it. It's okay, just keep making progress. And uh, hopefully you guys can keep training your ear and you can keep speaking English together. So today I wanted to pick up where I left off last time, how I talked about how I kind of decided that I wanted to speak Italian and uh, how I kind of chose Italian as a language. So now I wanna tell you guys about what my first semester and my first year of Italian was really like and how I kind of started getting traction and actually started improving with my Italian. So as you guys know, when I started Italian class, I didn't know anything. I probably knew how to say like ciao, but that's about it. And I just remember my teacher coming in and after the first day of class, the one thing I learned that she said like so much was va bene, va bene. So I was like, what does va bene mean? And I was obviously curious, but this was just the beginning of my curiosity. And so long story short, my first semester of Italian, I actually ended up getting a C in the class because I just wasn't that good at Italian and I also didn't apply myself outside of school. So in the sense, I was kind of like maybe any other English student. I was just like, oh, I have to do this. I have to study and then I have to pass the test and I have to memorize these words. I didn't realize still that what I was learning was a lot deeper than just something to pass in school. It was actually a new way for me to communicate, a new way for me to find friends and know a new culture and just kind of learn about the world. <clears throat> so I remember one time I actually said something in Italian, something very simple, probably just like mi chiamo Brian or something like that. And, my, and I asked the teacher and I was like, so if I go to Italy and I say mi chiamo Brian, they'll actually understand me and they'll know what I mean. And the teacher was like, yeah. And for me, it sounds so obvious and so simple, but this was actually like a huge moment for me for learning Italian <clears throat> because I realized everything I'm learning actually is significant and actually could be used and said to communicate something in a foreign language. And I was so excited about it. So. This happened at the end of my first semester, so I wasn't that good of a student and actually I ended up getting a C my first semester, but there at the end of the semester, that's when I really started realizing like, okay, like there's a point to all of this. There's a reason why I'm learning all of this. And so then during winter break, this is winter of 2012, I actually started practicing Italian on my own and this is when it all took off and I really started getting good at Italian. So what I mean by practicing on my own is I went online, we have this thing called the internet or Google, and I just searched like chat with foreign people in their language, something like that. And I found a bunch of different websites where you could literally go into a chat room, find people from all over the world, see their native language, see the language they're wanting to learn, and then you just start speaking to them. And guys, trust me, there are so many people who speak English as a native language that want to learn Italian, so you'll have no problem finding people. So I started going there, and I would just meet Italians, and I would just be like, ciao. And I would even have like maybe like four chat boxes open at one time. And what I would do is I would take the things that this chat box said, and I would steal it, and I would say it myself as if it was a native speaker speaking to the other Italian, because I just read it in this chat box, so I steal what a native speaker says, I use it, and I say it with another native speaker. So it's almost like I was just stealing phrases from all these chat boxes because that way I was learning the right way to say things, the way a native speaker would say things, and I was saying them myself, and I was learning how to say them, and I was memorizing them. <clears throat> and if there were ever times when I didn't understand, it was as simple as just going like, ba -da -da, translate, oh, there's the meaning of that. And if I didn't know how to say something, but translate, there's the meaning of that. You start learning new words. 
and you start learning how to build sentences and you start learning how a conversation works. So chatting with other Italians was seriously like whew, for me because first of all, it's online so it's text so you have time to think, you have time to read, there's no listening problems. You can type a response and you could try to make it right. You have time to even translate, like the timing is so nice. You have time to do all this. And it's good to take first steps and you will really start improving. And like, I just remember like all of a sudden after doing this for a couple weeks, I was like, Phew! and my Italian started getting so good. So all you have to have is like the basics of language, which all of you have in English and the internet. If you have the basics of English and the internet, nothing is stopping you from going and literally chatting with native speakers right now. Try to find a common interest and just chat about it and you can really improve. So after that, I started going back to class and I was of course like A for the rest of my time taking Italian classes, like C the first semester and then like A, 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 A. I eventually went to Italy and I will save that for the next episode because guys were running out of time. So I hope you liked it. Please check out my Patreon page. Please check out my PayPal if you want to give me a little tip or a little love for all the work I put into these videos to help you guys learn English. It would be greatly appreciated. The more you guys give me, the more I can give you. So let's be reciprocal in this, guys. One love. Thanks for watching. I hope you understand. Ci vedremo alla prossima. Peace out. Peace.